first turnout. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi, babies. Hello there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi there, hi. Has everybody said hi now? Huh? Look at this. I'm being swarmed. Hi, baby. Yeah, but they want you to they want you to pet them all at the same time. I'm taking this one home with me when she retires. Oh. And this one here, yeah, that's what's in there. <laughs> you know, that's what's you got in, there. in there, right? Yeah. This is a Day Bull Skeeter. I had her last year at uh, Naples. Mm. And she went grade eight, three eights for me. Wow. And they sent her over here to me to try to get her back running again. Mm. And she's my pet. So this one here, you're gonna take home with you? Once you right? Hey, they go in there willingly, no doubt. <laughs> oh. I got two 14-year-old Cocker Spaniels, man, they're, and they're grumpy, and they're brothers. I can't bring another dog home until they're gone. She only weighs 54 pounds. Now, this is not under any circumstances, I want to tell you, a publicity stunt. Right. I've just been forgetting to bring this. She win the other night. She did, yeah. And she gets she gets special privileges. This is... <laughs> I want you to understand this. I'm not doing this because you're here. Right. Oh, she gets a piece of... Oh, she gets a little steak there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she knows what it is. Oh, she's so damn spoiled. <laughs> So she won a race, so you're giving her a steak bone. Uh, I just ate it. We got it at a, at a new place, mm. and it was so tough you couldn't eat it. Mm. And I said, you know what? When winter won that night, it was two nights ago. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to give her this yeah. because I can't chew it. And Chris said, why do you want to be mean to her? Uh, <laughs> because the steroid thing that they're talking about, the great TK people and stuff, it's a it, it's a it's a hormone. It's a birth control for yeah. Keep for the female season. To keep the females from coming yeah. in season. They're making it sound like they're jacking them up with steroids, uh, beef up the muscles and all that stuff. It's just birth control. It's the equivalent of a, of a woman taking the pill, pretty much, right? Exactly. Yeah. Same, yeah, thing. same thing. It's. It doesn't enhance performance whatsoever, does it? No. No, it does absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just another... Um, like the great 2K people will take something simple like that don't Next tell. Well, just tell people it's a steroid, and they won't tell them the rest of the story. Right. Only tell them so much. Right. But, but then you got the news media too. They they they'll do stories on it, and they'll say yeah, they're giving they them all, steroids, they and they just, don't. They all just jump on it. Yeah. yeah. I guess the. I mean, I don't. You're never gonna catch a newspaper or a, a, a news channel doing a, some kind of positive story on the track. No. Yeah. No, if they could say something bad's going on when something's not, they'll get people to tune in and watch the news. I do the about grade two K. Is when did grade two K adopt the grade? Yeah, that's what I keep saying. They made six million dollars, and they and and, uh, and I try to tell people like, no greyhound, no greyhounds ever been helped with by grade two K money. They haven't got one penny, and why is that? Greyhounds don't need it. Yeah, they're per they're well cared for from from the time they're born to the time they're uh, adopted out. They're, they're better than. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many issues. You guys really I, do I, it. If I had a million dollars, I'd bet you a million dollars that that idiot that runs Grade 2K has never touched a Greyhound. Probably not. Well, they've never been inside a kennel, I guarantee right. you that. And they aren't any type of animal uh, experts either. But when they when they come to like a protest or they they go on the, the people, news media, run up to them like they, like they know what they're talking about. And all they are is a scam. Yeah. And the media, all they do is legitimize these people. It's money. The media don't care because if, if they can get some, money. if they can get what looks like to be dirt on a dog track, they get to sell soap. You know what I mean? They get to sell the news. And I, I think I'm uh, mostly amazed by uh, politicians or lawmakers 
that uh, listen to the great UK lies and run with it without without checking the facts. They don't have to when they get that check. Yeah, they're getting paid, I or, guess. Or whatever it is to the offshore account that they're doing it to. That's pretty scary, man. Yeah. Well, I look at it too like this, uh, like the like all you greyhound people, you trainers and stuff. You're very small groups of people, like two, three people. And it's not like you're in one big group. You guys are all individual, like, um, you know, they're all individual little businesses here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, it's not like you're all competing for the same dollar. Mm -hmm. And you guys work, man, like 14 hour days or something looks like. You don't have time to go on Facebook and fight this stuff. No. I've been to a lot of these kennels and I don't even stay all day. But, and it's like, I see all the work involved. I've hung out with AJ and Kathy more than a few times for only like five, six hours, but. Um, think about it, think about it seven days a week. Seven days a week, yeah, it is. And, and this is the part that they don't understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man. Most of us, unless, unless, like in AJ's case, mm -hmm. I don't know his, his wife or girlfriend, mm -hmm. but I know AJ. Yeah. And, 90% of the people in this business, if their spouse is not right with them, it's divorce. Right. Because you're spending all your time here. Mm -hmm. Kids are trying to open presents. Yeah. They need somebody to carve the turkey. Mm -hmm. And you're spreading dogs and. Yeah. Like, I've met a lot of people so far in the three months I've been doing this, and all the owners and trainers and farmers I've met. Uh, Adoption uh, groups, like they all love these dogs, man. You're all like animal lovers. You can't, you can't devote, devote your life, your marriage, your kids, your family. You cannot devote that to this if you didn't love it. If right. you don't love it, you ain't gonna do it. No. Yeah, at least. I mean, not for the welfare of the greyhounds and taking care of your dogs. You got no business doing. Right. No, I could tell, man. I I've been hanging out with um, with you people. I can I could you can see it, man. You can't you can't hide the fact that these dogs run up and want to hug you and love on you. And they, I mean, these dogs love you, man. So you have dogs that are being bred and introduced into the racing as others are retiring. You trying to keep this. Just keep them. Keep an in function of. Uh, You're right. And young and but right. I mean, it seems like right now all the adoption people that I talk to, most of them, uh, have, a lot of them have like, waiting lists. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but the it seems like the, it is. Is that? Uh, now the great UK people uh, tell people that uh, greyhound racing is banned, banned, and how. Are, such and such many states, but that's uh, yeah, so that's twisting they, the truth. As they closed Texas down, they were on there telling them how they fought and, and spent millions of dollars to get Texas shut down mm -hmm. from racing, and that is the farthest thing from the truth. Right. It, well, it's um, it's it, there's not a ban on racing; it's a ban on paramutual betting, which which includes which is basically just what it's, it's just, just it's betting. It's nothing. <laughs> You got that bone cleaned up, baby. <laughs> they are little kids. They're just like little kids. <laughs> How long are these turnouts? Uh, under normal conditions, probably this one here is probably like an hour and a half. Really? Yeah. But they do other things during the day too. They might go like over here. These guys here, they'll go do the sprinting or or sprinting here, like. Mm -hmm. I gotta see like I got all these pups. Mm -hmm. This whole pit, that's all it does is run back and forth. Oh really? So, technically I don't have to sprint them very hard if I do have to sprint them. Mm -hmm. Them three new puppies. The pecking order. Mm -hmm. Top dog down to the bottom alpha. And Yeah, there's always one dog that's ki the king, right? Yeah. And then there's ones that they don't mess with. They are not left alone, like Skeeter, nobody bothers her. Mm. She don't bother nobody. But there are, like, weaker dogs that get picked on if uh, you gotta watch that, right? It's the pack mentality yeah. thing. Yeah, it's like so wolves. They all fun the pack. Yeah. And usually, and sometimes, like, if you, like, you have to watch these dogs, because, like, the weak one will get picked on by everybody. Yeah. Yeah, you're always, you know, that's why I do a few beds and mm -hmm. come look. Somebody always playing around with somebody. Yeah. Well, 
They, you always know when uh, something's going on because they're barking. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the <laughs> the track from here, man. The Daytona track. Yeah. I mean, I can see the bleachers from here. Yeah. What, yeah. What's it like when uh, they got the Daytona 500 going on? What's I don't that know. like? I'll let you know when it gets here. Oh, you haven't been around? Been that I must be a nightmare. There was, they're already packing them in there to tweak or whatever it is they do. Mm -hmm. And the other night, the other afternoon, we were turning out, and it was so loud, it was just annoying. Oh, I'm the cars a, were going around? Yeah, I'm not a race car fan. Me, I don't know. And it just was so annoying. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine when there's 150 cars out there, I'll be going. Yeah, no. Oh, it was so loud, you couldn't even hear anything? Yeah. No, it, it was loud. You gotta be on a, what, almost a seven-tenths of a mile or a mile from the track? Yeah. And it was so loud, you couldn't hear anything? No. Really? I know. <laughs> so... If the dogs weren't wearing muzzles because of the pack mentality thing, like how many times a day would you be going to the vet to have stitches put in? One, uh, every one, turnout. Every turnout, there'd be some dog that has to go to the vet. When they're off the off the track for up to, I think it's up to six months. Some dogs it may be longer. Mm -hmm. They tend to defuse mm -hmm. and they they get out of one life and into another. Mm -hmm. There's and an adjustment then, period. Yeah, adjustment. And then they're, they're kind of like, mm -hmm. But see, you have, you can just tell they're all wound up. Yeah. And, well, that's what happens when they're all together in one place. I mean, they, yeah. it's like if you put a bunch of kids in a room, they're going to be <laughs> and, and it's the same thing. You're going to have the pecking order. You're going to have the kid that buffaloes everybody. Yeah. You're going to have the shy kids. It's You're true. Have, yeah. There's a kid everybody picks on. Yeah, that's right. Humans, humans do the, the, the exact pack mentality thing. thing too, don't they? Yeah. Never really thought about that, but you're right. That's right. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, Colin Tom spooks, mm -hmm. spooky, scared. Yeah, and but that's just something in their DNA. It's just their personality. Like yeah. some people are that way. Now she's now she's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Here, baby. She she still would be a little standoff. Yeah, that's because you're here. Yeah, but they but all these dogs have different personalities. You know what I mean? You were saying that one dog over there is quirky and <laughs> this one, yeah, the one that yeah. keeps barking. Yeah. At yeah. yeah. But, and th th that one's real timid, and some of them are real outgoing and friendly, yeah. and they're all just all different. Man. Have it. <laughs> As you'll see in just a second, mm -hmm. 